Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I am hoping to get through this video with fewer than four interruptions. <laughs> that is my hope. I have people coming and going out the door behind me. Sarah, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. <laughs> Sarah's throwing casseroles in the oven. It's just, it's noisy in the house and we're going to try to get through another grocery haul okay so this one i've been accumulating for a little bit here i have an azure standard haul a dollar tree haul and a sam's club haul all in this one video we're consolidating it because all three of these were small hauls and they did not warrant individual videos for themselves so i'm going to go through i have everything laid out on the table here we're going to go through each store. I have some of the prices tallied up over here. And then we will see where I'm sitting at as far as the monthly grocery budget is coming in at when these things are deducted. This one's a little bit tricky. Those of you that keep up with our family's monthly grocery hauls, uh, we have $1,100 for the entire month. Divided up by the nine people in our family is about $122 per person. This Azure Standard Haul here on the end was from last month's budget. And the reason this has fallen this way is because I had to place the order um, during last pay period, but it did not ship and arrive here until after this new pay period had started. So things are wonky, but we are going to finalize last month's budget the big finale i already told you guys i went over budget but we're going to go over just how much over budget did i end up being because of that as your standard haul and then we'll touch on this month's grocery budget with the dollar tree and sam's club haul is that clear as mud does it make sense to anyone <laughs> i hope it does so we will go ahead and get started and uh see what i got so here we go all right, we'll go down to the end of the table where I have my Azure Standard things laid out over here. Again, just a small order for our family. I did start off with restocking some calcium hydroxide. And this is like pickling lime is what it would be if you just bought it off the shelf, say at Walmart. And I think it goes by the name pickling lime. This is what I use to water glass our chicken eggs. Um, here that we get off the farm and I started that process again so I wanted to restock. Um, I am glad they put it in this extra bag because the bag inside did leak apparently and it is a mess so we're just going to leave it inside this extra bag. It is a five pound bag. I paid $11.20. I hope that shows up uh, but there is an eight and a half percent shipping fee for Azure Standard so my actual um, out-of-pocket was $12.15 for this. I also purchased uh, another thing of soap. I've been buying it in bulk. Uh, this brand, Sapo Hill from, Sam, from Azure Standard, for many years now. I get two different varieties. Uh, there's an almond variety here that we tend to use um, in the shower, in the bath, and things like that. And then I have an oatmeal variety that has actual oats inside it, so it's very textured. And I use that for hand washing, just for grimy hands from being out in the garden. Uh, this box contains 12 bars of soap. You can see there, this is the size of the bars. And the entire box costs $22.62, divided by the 12 bars. But adding in that 8.5% shipping fee, comes to $2.05 per bar and I find that they last quite a while so I am very pleased with the quality of this soap. The cane sugar, uh, this is evaporated cane juice. It is just slightly less processed than your normal white refined sugar that you're going to get at the store. This is a 25 pound bag and it sells for $29.99, but with the shipping fee, it's actually $32.54. And then the cost per pound would be $1.30 per pound for me to buy it in this big bulk bag. And we will transfer this into a five gallon bucket 
with a gamma lid on it and we'll keep this in the pantry and the back could be used as a weed barrier out in the garden so uh, the red lentils um, we've started putting a lentil stew slash soup in our meal rotation for lunchtime and so I needed to buy another bag of this. This is a, what's it say, five pound? Five pound bag of red lentils for $11.89 plus the shipping fee comes to $12.90, which breaks down to $2.58 per pound for the red lentils. My last, well, no, I take it back. There's two more Azure Standard items here. So one is this mega thing of dish soap here. And it is just, it's huge. <laughs> so it is a five gallon container. It's not a bucket. It's a strange, you see the, it's a strange top on there. So I don't know really what to call it, but it's five gallons, uh, $66.06, plus the shipping fee comes to $71.68. And what I will do is, since it comes in this strange container nowadays, I'm gonna show you back here. This is what it used to come in, this actual five gallon bucket. So we're gonna transfer it to the bucket and then just keep this out in the garage. And there's a little refill thing here, the pump. But do you see it is broken? <laughs> so instead I have purchased one of these. I knew one of those to go, um, in that five gallon bucket. So $5.64 is what I paid for the new pump. And this is the container we actually keep under the sink to use and it gets refilled using the pump in the five gallon bucket. So that is the system for our Azure Standard dish soap. Okay, let's just move straight on to Dollar Tree at this point. Um, again, because these orders are just so small. There are a handful of things that I pick up at Dollar Tree. A lot of the things there are not a better deal, but some things are. So I did pick up one of these little storage containers for $1.25. I've got a deep cabinet there in the kitchen that I'm going to try to put, okay, I'm gonna to try to put these Sam's Club seasoning containers in here and slide it back into that deep kitchen cabinet. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. So I got that at Dollar Tree. Uh, shelf stable milk. This is something that I keep on hand uh, just as emergency preparedness. In case of an emergency, um, y'all know we have a Jersey dairy cow, so we are getting lots of fresh milk um, nowadays, but I still like to have this on hand. So uh, Dollar Tree, the best price I've been, been able to find for just shelf stable milk. And they had, I think they had a 1%, 2%. They had some different varieties there and they had all the nut milks and stuff like that as well. So um, if you are trying to build up an emergency stockpile, I would recommend this. Um, we do also keep powdered milk on hand as well. I like to diversify. <laughs> the green tea. Um, I used to get my tea at Kroger because I thought it was the best deal, but I had a viewer comment about Dollar Tree and I can get 100 tea bags for $1.25. Haven't found any way to beat that deal at all. And then my last item from Dollar Tree this month was the uh, Himalayan Pink Salt. These are one pound baggies for $1.25. And I think I did a price comparison at Walmart and it was over $5 for one pound at Walmart for the Himalayan Pink Salt. So $1.25 is a great deal for that. Uh, my grand total at Dollar Tree for these few items here was the $7.93. And then we'll go ahead and move on to Sam's Club. All right, small little order from Sam's Club. And again, these are things that I have um, researched the different prices and I have found Sam's Club to be the best deals on these items. I am gonna start in the back with this olive oil because prices have changed. Last month, I bought one of these at Sam's Club, and when I compared it to Walmart, the Walmart unit price, the price per fluid ounce, was cheaper at Walmart. When I did the math this month, Sam's Club was the best deal again. So 
just because you find that something's a better deal, it changes. Those prices just fluctuate so much. So I did go ahead and pick up another jug at Sam's Club just to restock the pantry this month. And I paid $27.98 for the three liter bottle. The maple syrup, Sam's Club has been the best deal on maple syrup for years and years. Um, these little jugs here sell for $12.98. Um, it's one quart of organic maple syrup, pure maple syrup, and we really, really enjoy it. I keep a pretty large stockpile of this on hand. The canned ravioli. Okay, Sam's Club is not the best deal, but there's a but here. Okay, Aldi is the best deal on canned ravioli. I believe it's 97 cents per can at Aldi. However, for two months now, I have been trying to restock my pantry using the Aldi ravioli, and they are just not getting it in stock. So they have the sign up, just every time I go, they do not have it. So this was the next best thing, and Sam's Club has this case of 12 cans for $11.98, which breaks down to right at $1 per can. So this is going, this is just in our convenience food slash emergency prep pantry. The uh, shelf stable hash browns, um, I've talked about this before. This is a great deal at Sam's Club for something shelf stable. These are not frozen hash browns where you're dependent on electricity for your deep freeze. This is just something that sits on the shelf for a long time. $8.98 for 33.1 ounces of hash browns. Uh, the chili powder. We made chili recently for a church gathering and so I needed to restock. $9.98 for this 20 ounce container and we had our beef hot dogs the same day that we served the chili. So restocking here as well. $9.78 for the beef hot dogs at Sam's Club and there are 24 uh, hot dogs in each package. Two more items here. Parmesan cheese, best deal at Sam's Club. $6.58 per pound. And I can't beat that deal at Aldi or Walmart or anywhere else. So this keeps very well. Okay, sorry guys, had to stop and get a drink. My allergies are getting better, but they're still here. So you got to bear with me here a little bit. Um, this keeps very well, but if it starts to go moldy, we will shred it up and put it in the freezer. And so we get a lot of use out of this. My last Sam's Club item was the sliced Colby Jack cheese, $6.96 for two pounds. And it's just, it's the best deal I've been able to find. Uh, Sam's Club gives me the best prices on these items. Well, with the exception of that, but... <laughs> My grand total was $154.54. And so now I'm going to get my clipboard. We will sit down. We will finalize last month's budget because Azure Standard has arrived. And then we will deduct these two from this month's grocery budget and see where we are at right now as far as what's left in that budget. Okay, guys, let's go over these numbers here. I hope this isn't too confusing for you all. I think those of you that have uh, kept up with us month to month will kind of get what I'm doing. But for new people, I hope it's not confusing here. So let's finalize last month's budget first. Um, those of you that are keeping up with it know that I had gone over budget by $128.88. And I still had the Azure Standard Order that was due to come in. So, and that's the one we went over there at the end of the table. Um, I've mentioned in the past that I volunteer as the drop coordinator for our group, which means I do the communication between, here comes an interruption right here, but it's a cute one. So, scoop, scoop. I send out emails, I do all the communication between Azure and the customers at our local, um, our local group, and uh, I receive a credit on my account every month for doing that. So my out-of-pocket 
for the items back there was $46.40, which brings my grand total of going over to $175.28, which is not good. However, I also mentioned um, in other videos that I was expecting to have a surplus in other areas of last month's budget. So my hope was that it would kind of balance out. I got close, but I did not balance out. So with our fuel budget and just little extra categories here and there, I still ended up over by $14.04 for the month. So all of our budget categories across the board, I went over by $14. There you go. It is what it is. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this month's budget. Um, if you watch the once a month uh, grocery haul video, that is what I do. Look at that cute thing. <laughs> Say, <laughs> you saw her running outside, didn't you? Look. Who was it? And then I went to the apple. Anna Mae, yeah, she's running out there. No, I did the apple. Really? Yes. Okay, okay. This month's budget, as long as I don't get choked out over here. Start off with $1,100. I did the once a month grocery stock up. There is a whole video on that, and I will link it in the description box below if you hadn't seen it. That is where I go through all of our pantries, all of our freezers, and I tip top restock everything. Tip top, tip top. I warned you there would be interruptions, right? <laughs> no one is surprised here. Um, so after that once a month stock up, we had $770.21 left in the budget. Um, after we deduct uh, Sam's Club that we went over and Dollar Tree that we went over, I am now left with $607.74. Are you enjoying yourself? What? Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you're having fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Help me, guys! <laughs> okay, okay, baby, Shh, don't choke mama, okay? $607.74 is what's left in the budget right now. What needs to come out of that money is three weeks of the weekly sale ads where I buy the best of the best deals and the next as your standard haul. That's what needs to come out of it. So we will see if I go over budget again this month. I hope not. <clears throat> we may have to reevaluate the budget. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave that kind of hanging there. We're just going to see. I am going to try to stay within the $1,100 budget. Inflation is a thing. And I am stubborn and I want to fight it till I... No stopping, baby. Shh. I'm going to fight it till I can't fight it anymore, but we will see. Okay. I was going to tell you something else. Oh, I know what it is. I have already done the um, weekly sale ad shopping for the week. So I'm gonna tell you my plan. You know my plans don't always go according to plan. My hope, hold on, I have to change the battery. <laughs> okay, new battery. Here's my plan. My plan is to have this video right here available to you guys Friday morning. And then the weekly sale ad video that I've already purchased but I have not filmed yet. I am hoping to put that out Friday evening. So there will actually be two videos out on Friday if everything goes according to plan. That's the key thing here. So hopefully it works out. Um, either way, if you like the video, please, please give a thumbs up and double check that you are truly subscribed. And then if you could tell others about Ozark Family Homestead, that is how our channel grows and uh, we appreciate it when you support us that way. It's awesome, awesome. So um, hopefully I will see you this evening on a second video. So we will see. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> this is what I have in the background, guys. <laughs> so, okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh,